Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Duke Blue Devils. Wow, these two rivals have been waiting a long time to get ready for this one. We got a chance to truly see who's the better team. Yes, who is really the team in the nation. Forget about rankings. Forget about history. Forget about every game played before tonight because this is the one that counts. Yeah, that's precisely why college basketball is so exciting, Dick. Every player shares the same team goal night in and night out and is willing to lay it all on the line. So here we go. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. That's a nice-looking play right here. The Blue Devils are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. Number one, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Second, it's imperative that you win the battle on the boards. And finally, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. High post screen. So effective, that screen. It sticks. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. For two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up from three-point land. Frierson was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Golden handles the pass. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Inside. Number 42 with the fake. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block, and there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Trying to pack it inside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. On the outside. From the baseline. Makes it. They work the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Drains it. He'll regroup the offense. Cross court. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Fed the low block. He got the dunk and the foul. He went through that lane on a mission, Brad. The Yellow Jackets go to the line for the first time in this game. Sinks it. Working it around the perimeter. Ivy receives the pass. 
Up and inside. Inside. Meeks handles the field. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Way off target. Stolen away. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The power forward receives the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Has a nice look at the basket. He attempts the three. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Shows patience waiting for the reset. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The Blue Devils have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and you spin back the other way. Both teams looking to get things going here. The ball goes out of bounds. for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? We're going to move it around the perimeter. He uses the shot fake. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. The dribble gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. My goodness. Players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Executes the baby hook. Duke are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. From the top of the circle, off the rim and no good. From the top of the circle, Ivy for three. Here's another look at the play. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hat. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. 
I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step defensively and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Look at that spacing. Fakes a jumper. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Basket falls despite the contact. Definitely a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Thinks about the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. He shoots from the top of the key. Oh, yes. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Three. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. <laughs> on the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. He tries the three ball. He gets the bucket. Oh, we got to replay that one. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Pump fakes. They'll work it around the arc. Got an open look if he wants it. On the outside, he takes the three. Duke are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Well, Aaron, here we are about halfway through the first half. How's it look from your perspective? Brad, it's been a grinder. The pace is quick. Emotions are high. This is what rivalries are all about. All right, thanks, Aaron. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. 
Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Double team now, that angle. Steel, go up the other way, get a layup. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Get back to the action here after the timeout. Looking for a good shot. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. And they get the turnover. He's wasting no time getting it up the floor. Trying to draw the foul. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nice shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Looking for a good shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Entry pass in the paint. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. They work it around the perimeter. There's the fake. For two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That's good. They work the perimeter. There's the trap. For the bucket. Duke are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The Yellow Jackets have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. 
That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The Blue Devils will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Step out on that screener. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Duke have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Up and inside. He wants a three. Goes. I have to see that one again. goes out of play. Things are going well, and it's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy into it. Here's a flash from the high post. Takes the pass in the paint. Fakes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Ivy is animated and ready to go. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Looking for a good shot. Tries to get the D to bite. He makes the block. Shot's there if he wants it. Pull-up jumper from way out. He takes the rebound. Puts it on the floor and up and under. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. There's a double team waiting there. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Stolen away. He brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped them. Puts up a prayer. Comes up short. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. At halftime, the Blue Devils are ahead by five. It's a close one, folks. What have you got, Dick, as your play of the half? Watch this dunk right here. This is a clear indication of what we can expect from both teams in the second half. They're both going to come out hard. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Duke did a masterful job of grabbing the boards in the first half, Mr. Vitale. Wow, I'll tell you, Brad, these guys are so well coached. The coaching staff preaches the importance of winning the rebound battle. And then they went out there and they just did that. Dick, we saw a great first half, and that intensity you know is going to carry over to the beginning of the second half. Well, I'll tell you, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. I'll tell you, both clubs playing with a lot of passion, Brad. 
Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets his first. Both free throws go. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box, run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Knocks it down. What a great touch. Good baseline drive, squared his body. Well, he comes some pressure. Working it around the perimeter. He takes the shot from the baseline. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Two, and he scores it off the glass. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. And the ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> Unloads. There was no doubt about that one. The skip pass is picked off. High post flashes. Lobs it inside. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from the top of the circle. Georgia Tech are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Good job defensively. They're off into transition. Jumps into the defender. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Almost lost the basketball. The power forward gets the ball. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted. But so is his coach. In the paint. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Gets the rejection. 
Nice rotation over, blocking that shot. They're working around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? The defender's doing a great job of applying wall pressure. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Stolen. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Great play to take that to the basket. The Yellow Jackets have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Looking for the foul, he drains the bucket. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Entry pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. And working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Takes the shot. He nails the bucket. The Blue Devils trail by nine. Moving it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Up fake. Ten seconds to put it up. Goes up for two. The lay in. Intercepted. And I think right now, got to focus defensively. On the inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. 
Puts it up, looking for contact. The Yellow Jackets lead by nine. Gave it up. Tries a three. He comes up empty. Jumps in. And he scores it off the glass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Georgia Tech are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice fake. The kick out. Number 32 with the foul. Aaron, I guess we can't ask to have a great game every night out, but we had a great first half. Well, guys, during the half, both coaches told me they were worried about how the players would keep their emotions in check. Well, we see who's done it so far. Thanks, Aaron. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. He hacked him. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He's mocking the crowd. Now, that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. You've got that right, Brad. He'll go to the line. Got it from the free throw line. The Blue Devils trail by 13. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Jumped in front to take it away. That's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Let's it fly. He makes the shot. He draws a foul. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Look at that spacing. In the paint, trying to draw some contact. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals a pass. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Picks off the pass. Outside jumper. He buries the shot. We get another look. Here's a double team. 
on the outside from downtown you bet you excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps and the ball goes out of play well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Good. Tries for two. Makes it. Move it into the front court from beyond the arc. Georgia Tech have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. <laughs> On the outside. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Up and inside. Gave it up. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He'll visit the charity strike. Hits that one. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Controlling the ball. He strips him clean. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Up, easy one. The Blue Devils are behind by 15. Picked off on the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up for two. That's unbelievable. That'll silence any crowd. He took the life right out of the crowd with that basket, Brad. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Here we go on the break. Nice high post screen. He shoots from the angle. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, perfectly executed. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, it was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. Looking for a good shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle day. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Great play to take that to the basket. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The Yellow Jackets have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He goes for three. He hits the tough shot. Ate's not going to down with ease, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for a good shot. Double team now, bad angle. Working around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. That's a Milan, NBA. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Basket falls despite the contact. On the post, turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, I think he's missed the first time. Play some hoop, do a little dance. He launches the bomb. He couldn't get it to fall. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the ball handler. Ten seconds to put up a shot. Picked out of the air. He dials long distance. He nails the shot. He inter 
intercepts it. Timeout on the floor. Are we looking at after that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Launches the three. Way off target. From right in the circle, he buries the trifecta. Great defense. The point guard with the ball. He looks for the bomb. He gets that one to fall. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. It looks like they're going to slow the game down by fouling, Brad. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Second one is good. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Three-pointer. Off the rim and no good. Gets it to fall. Pushes it up. Working it around the perimeter on the outside. And a momentary look from three-point land. They'll work it around the arc. Dick, I don't think the fire of this rivalry is going to go out after what we saw tonight. Well, they went on a spurt, closed the gap, made it a little bit interesting. It was all said and done. They just didn't have enough ammunition to offset the early start. Do find themselves on the losing end of a good game. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.